Hello guys, my name is Moilo Kayanda. Uh, in this recording, I'm going to illustrate the solution to the question displayed in the screen. This question was shared in our WhatsApp group called Mathematics GC 2022. And as you can see, it was extracted from the 2018 first paper two for GC Maths. It is about statistics. It reads as a, a farmer planted skis the fruit trees. In a certain month, the number of trees, per, the number of fruits per tree was recorded and the results were as shown in the table below. So in this table, we have uh, the number of fruits per tree and the frequency or the number of occurrences. So how many trees had uh, two fruits? Uh, it shows under the frequency, it shows that only one tree had two fruits out of the skisty fruit trees. Then uh, three, uh, five trees had the three fruits. Then four trees had four fruits. Six trees had five fruits. 10 trees had six fruits each and so on and so, so forth. The requirement in part A is that um, you have to calculate the standard deviation. And uh, this is six marks. Now, to do that, to calculate the standard deviation, we need to recall the formula for the standard deviation, which is uh, as shown in the, in the screen. Uh, standard deviation is equal to this symbol is sigma, which is equal to the square root of uh, this symbol. It's a read as summation of f times x squared over the summation of f. f is the frequency and uh, minus x bar or squared. And then uh, here you need to recall that uh, x bar is, uh, the, is uh, the mean, which is given by the formula. Uh, x bar is equal to f, summation of fx, fx is f times x, uh, all divided by summation of frequency. Now, for us to determine these parameters, fx, uh, summation of f and uh, summation of fx squared, we need to construct a table like this one. So this, in this table, our x is uh, the number of fruits per tree as shown in the table that is in the question. So you, if you create, you form a, for a column for x values, so if the x values, you pick the ones from the, 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 the table in the question, the number of fruits, the tree. And then the next column is uh, x squared. So you are going to square to find, to square the x values. Two times two, that is four. Uh, three squared, it's nine. Four squared is 16. Five squared is 25. So the x squared values are obtained by squaring uh, this the values in the first column, in the x column. Then f is the frequency. So you copy the frequency uh, as they correspond with the x values from the table. So one, five up to 18. Then in the last column here, we have the summation or the totals. So for you start getting the totals from f, f you can get the total when you add these values, you have skis. Then fx is a frequency times the x values. So you multiply the x values by the f values. You get uh, for the first one, two times one, that's two. Three times five, that's 15. Until the last one, eight times 18, that is 144. And then uh, f x squared. So here you multiply the f values or the frequencies by the x squared values. So four times uh, one, you have four. The nine times five, you have 45. 16 times four, you have 64. Until the last one, 64 times 18, that is 1,152. Then you get the totals. So these totals, uh, for instance, 2,551. This is the summation of fx squared. So it's the one which we have here in, the, in this formula. Summation of fx squared is 2,559. Then summation of fx is 379, the total of the fx values. So while we have fx, uh, we have to put 379. Now, having found these parameters using uh, this table, we can straight uh, away 
substitute in these values in the formulas. So we we'll, we'll can complete the, we'll begin with the, the mean, the X bar. So here we are going to have uh, F, summation of FX is 379 over summation of F, which is uh, skisty. When you simplify this, you have 6.3166. And to the uh, rounding off to two decimal places, this will give us a 6.32. Uh, and then we can now complete the standard deviation, can calculate the standard deviation since we have all the parameters. So we just substitute and we have, we substitute uh, summation of fx squared, it's 2559 from the table. Then f summation of f of frequency, the total frequency is kc, and then minus the square over the mean. The mean is 6.32, as we have just from calculating the square edge. And then when you simplify this using the calculator, you have 2.7076. And then you find the square root, which is 1.6455. This rounding off to two decimal places is 1.65. That is uh, the mean. Okay, we move on to part B. In part B, The question is uh, requiring us to, to use a graph paper. In part B, the instruction that answer this part of, this, of the question on a sheet of graph paper. So all the workings of under part B should be done on a piece of graph paper. And uh, in one, the requirement is that using the table below, copy and complete the relative cumulative frequency table below. So we'll use this table, which is given, and uh, we have to complete the relative cumulative frequency. So we fill in these uh, boxes, three boxes. So to do that, uh, we we'll first of all understand that uh, relative frequency, relative cumulative frequency, how it is determined, you divide uh, the cumulative frequency by the total frequency. So the total frequency is simply skisty. The last uh, figure in the cumulative frequency, that's the total frequency. So you, to find the relative cumulative frequency, you divide the cumulative frequency by the total frequency, which is skisty. So uh, for the first missing uh, value here, you will say 26 divided by skisty, which will give you 0 0.43. 42 divided by skisty, you have 0 0.7. And uh, skisty divided by skisty, uh, that is simply one. So that's how we're supposed to answer this part. But remember, all this working should be done on a uh, piece of graph paper, on a sheet of graph paper. And then, we move on to part B2, where we have been given that uh, using a scale of one centimeter to represent one unit on the X axis for this range, zero to eight, and two centimeters to represent 0 0.1 units on the Y axis, the vertical axis from zero to the range is zero to one. So we have to draw a smooth, relative cumulative frequency scale. So this scale is uh, simply the relationship between the relative cumulative frequency and the X values, which is the number of fruits per tree. So we, since we have completed our relative cumulative frequency table, we can simply do that. Uh, you go on a piece of graph paper, get the standard uh, sheet of graph paper, and uh, mark the ranges, the horizontal axis, that is X, or the number of fruits per tree. So each on the graph paper, the box, the big box is uh, calibrated to, the measurement is two centimeters. Now we are told that uh, one centimeter should represent one unit. So you do, you, you mark your scale from one to eight along the horizontal axis, the X axis, then on the vertical axis, uh, 
one centimeter or rather two centimeter, the big box is representing 0 0.1 units. So you mark from 0 0.1 all the way to one. This is the range that you have been given. Then you use uh, the figures in the table. So two, you start with two along the horizontal axis, the number of fruits where it's two, the y value will be 0 0.02. So from this point going up, you count uh, two units, 0 0.02. So you count those to my small divisions on the standard uh, sheet of graph paper. You count one, two going up. So that will be your first point. The second point is three and uh, 0 0.1. So three units along the x-axis is here, going up the y-axis, uh, 0 0.1 is just right here. So you mark that as a second point. Then the next point is 4, comma, uh, 0 0.17. So you go where there is 4 on the x-axis, then going up 0 0.17. So first of all, 0 0.1 is here. Then you count those to my small divisions to give you uh, seven. So from 0 0.1, we count, we move seven steps upwards using small uh, divisions. Then you have your four points, your four comma 0 0.17 here. Then the next one is five comma 0 0.27. So the five on the x-axis is here. And then moving upwards, 0 0.27. So two 0 0.2 is here. Then from 0 0.2, you move uh, seven steps using the small divisions. Then you have your 0 0.27 right there. And then the next point is 6, point, 6 comma 0 0.43. So six is here on the horizontal axis. Then 4 point, 0 0.43, uh, on the y-axis, 0 0.4 is here. Then from here, you move three points. You move three steps upwards on, along the small divisions. You count the small divisions. So this will be your 0 0.43. And it lies along six. So that's your, your point six comma 0 0.43. The next is seven comma 0 0.4. Seven. So take note, we are using relative cumulative frequency and not cumulative frequency. So it's seven comma 0 0.7, we'll go ahead and seven on the x-axis and uh, 0 0.7 on the, or is, or on the vertical axis or the y-axis. So where they meet, that's uh, that point, seven comma 0 0.7. Then the last point is eight comma one. So eight and one. So eight on the x-axis, you go up until you meet y. You meet one on the y-axis. So that's the point. Then you join these points using a smooth uh, curve. So you, you, it's a curve, actually. So you join the points, you use your pencil nicely, you draw a smooth curve like that. So we have answered uh, part three, part two of uh, B. Then part three, Showing your method clearly, use your graph to estimate the seventh percentile. Now, seventh percentile is simply 70, uh, rather 70, 70th percentile. It is simply 70%. So you say 70 over 100 times uh, the maximum value in this range in the y axis in the relative cumulative frequency is one. So you multiply it by one, which will give you 0 0.2. Seven. Then you go at the 0 0.7 along the y-axis and uh, draw a line until you, you meet the curve. Where that line, the 70 percentile meets the curve, you draw a vertical line downwards until it meets the x-axis or the number of fruits per tree. So where it meets the number of fruits per tree, you read that number, which is seven. So seven fruits is the 70th percentile. Okay, this brings us to the end of uh, the question. I hope you have enjoyed. Wishing you all the best. Goodbye for now.